Hello everyone, welcome back to Disney Dreamlight Valley, which is currently one of my favorite games. Today we are going to be looking at the best way to make money early to mid game because that's currently where I'm at in my game and I know a lot of other people haven't quite made it to the Forgotten Lands yet to get those pumpkins. We're going to be looking at my top ways to make a whole bunch of money right away in like under an hour. All right, so the first way that we are going to be making money is by heading up to the Forest of Valor. This will probably be the third or fourth biome you get in your game so it is definitely maybe a little more mid game late early game that you will unlock this and i believe you have to get to the second goofy's cart upgrade to get the canola seed the canola seed is 25 coins but the great part about canola is that once you have produced it it will be worth a hundred and nine dollars a piece so you're going to be making at least four times your money per canola. As you can see, I already have a whole bunch planted right here. And while this will make me probably 25 to 30 K, we can actually maximize the profit if we go and find one of our characters who has the harvesting ability. So we're gonna ask Scar to hang out with us. And this can be any character that has the crop hangout bonus. And then we're gonna go and we're gonna harvest all of this. All right, so once you've harvested a whole bunch of your canola, you're gonna head over to any of the carts. We're gonna go ahead and sell all of that. Maybe keep a couple if you don't already have canola. And look at that, we are making $33.6 thousand dollars just from that little bit of effort we had to put in there. All right, so for our next way of making money, we are going to go and we're gonna find one of our one of our characters who has the best mining capabilities. So for me, I'm currently trying to level up Buzz Lightyear with the mining hangout bonus. So we're going to go find Buzz and we're going to ask him to hang out with us. So now that we have a mining hangout bonus character with us, we are going to head and we're just gonna do a whole bunch of mining. The places that I recommend mining the most are going to be the Sunlit Plateau. Obviously, you might not have this unlocked if you're early game, um, but if you have this one unlocked, this is a great place. You'll get things like gold. You can mine in the mines that are up here, so crystals. But the biggest thing we're looking for is the gems. Glade of Trust is going to be another really great one. Obviously, we're going to want to head to Dazzle Beach as we can get those aquamarines and I believe some other gems. And then Forest of Valor is going to be really great as well. I would definitely recommend not spending too much time in the plaza or the peaceful meadow. If those are the only ones you have unlocked, then totally do that. But these other ones around are going to give you gems that are going to make you a lot more money. And then if you have the Frosted Heights, this is definitely a late mid game biome you might have. If you have Frosted Heights, definitely head up there as well. The pattern that I mine in is very sporadic. I know some people have some set paths that they will go in. But where I like to start is the Glade of Trust and I just start and I head down this rock along the side around that way and then I'll head down the beach along the beach up to the forest and then kind of just do a big circle that way. Once you've gotten a whole bunch of gems with the help of your mining pal you're gonna head to one of Goofy's carts and we're gonna sell them. One thing I'd recommend if you're trying to level up a bunch of characters is to make sure that they don't want any gems because those will definitely get you a lot of friendship points with them so you can definitely trade them with them. But anyways, this is just from about five-ish minutes of mining around, and we're already gonna make nearly $8,000 off of just that couple of minutes. So you can definitely make a lot off of the gems. I think the most I've made off of those in one go was about $50,000, and I believe that took me somewhere between 30 and 40 minutes to do. And for the last one, it's my least favorite, but it's also very effective. We're gonna get our fishing rod out, and we're gonna go find someone who likes to fish. I would recommend hitting the blue and the yellow spot. These ones are gonna get you the fish that are gonna make you the most money overall. Another thing we can remember when it comes to fish is if you have leveled up Moana fishing boat at all you can head down over here and collect the fish out of her boat so I haven't totally leveled it up all the way but she currently collects 12 out of 12 fish for me and so every day I come down here collect that and I will make some easy money off of those as well especially if she gets me any really good fish so like the carp you're making $400 on that one the bass 25 salmon 150 
things like that. So those are my favorite ways to make money in Disney Dreamlight Valley. I hope you guys can give these a try. These are probably the most efficient ways and at the same time you can continue playing your game and you can collect resources for quests and all that kind of stuff. Definitely stay away from fishing if you don't like the fishing mechanics though because it gets very tedious very fast. That is personally how I feel so I like to stick towards the farming and the mining aspect of the game. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!